Uh, I want to get to uh, PIMCO CEO Mohamed El Arian because he wrote in the Financial Times today that he believes Japan's economy will eventually rebound. El Arian is speaking now to Bloomberg Surveillance, uh, Tom Keen and Ken Pruitt. Uh, let's listen in. We'll see the Japanese responding to this national crisis by repatriating capital that's currently held right. outside Japan. It's going to be very similar to what we saw in Korea. You remember the images of people standing in line to donate their wedding rings in Korea in order to help the country recover from the financial shock back in 1998, mm. 99? You'll see the same thing. Hey, Mohammed, I was at the Common Fund meetings in Orlando, and somebody had a brilliant insight, Ian Bremmer of Eurasia Group it was, and he talked about, okay, Egypt was on CNN, and now it's on C. Span and we're, we're almost we're almost in crisis fatigue here. At some point, our attention, I guess, will turn from Japan. How do we institutionally heal all of the challenges that we have now? If in this media frenzy, we have a crisis fatigue. Well, it, we've had crises. So, so if you look over the last few months, we've had the Middle East. Now we have Japan, and four markets. Tom, this is a combination of a negative demand shock and a negative supply shock. So it is understandable that markets are being driven by top-down factors as opposed to bottom-up analysis. And we, as commentators, as investors, have to keep abreast because these are major global developments. We uh, do have a headline uh, out that uh, earthquake shakes buildings in Tokyo. That's all we know so far. Story to follow. 6.2 was that. We got the, it was 6.2, yeah. which is larger than what we've seen. We've seen about one six per day, I would say. Uh, are you surprised that we didn't see a whole lot of market reaction until today? Um, yes and no. Um, no in the sense of the earthquake came late in terms of the Japanese day on Friday, and therefore other markets were taking their cue from only half an hour of trading in Japan, and therefore they didn't recognize early enough the enormity of what had happened. And secondly, this now has morphed. It's not just about the impact of the tsunami and the earthquake. It is also about nuclear power. And as you said earlier, this is not just about the ability of Japan to restore power for its industry and for its consumers. It's also about the exact future of this source of energy on, on, on the world's stage. So this is consequential. And the situation has been morphing over the last few days. When you look at the consequential factors of it, you have to adapt to it as an investor. When you and Bill Gross were sitting around with your team this morning in a call, how do you adapt? Is there an action plan? Do you sit passive? What does PIMCO do given a set of shocks? Well, first, um, it's not just the morning. I mean, we've been on the phone all night with our Asian offices, with our Tokyo colleagues, understanding what's going on. So there's an element of analysis that's very important. The second is a technical understanding of how markets are positioned. A lot of what you see today, including very high correlations among markets, is because a lot of people are being caught off sides and are def therefore having to reduce positions um, in a pretty indiscriminate fashion, which raises the third issue for any investment manager, which is look for opportunities when others are selling indiscriminately. Right. And finally, maintain risk management and high alert, including liquidity management. So we go through these four steps um, on a continuous basis. And in fact, the investment committee will be convened again um, in a couple of hours. When, well, you, well, when you convene again in a couple hours, Mohammed, what is your lead theme? Lead theme is let's assess the global implication of, of this combination of demand and supply shock coming not just out of Japan, but also out of the Middle East. There's been a lot going on in the well, Middle East. Well, as you just heard from PIMCO's Mohammed El Arian, the investment committee will be convening in a few hours there uh, to try to assess the situation and what, uh, what the impact is from what we've seen uh, in Japan. We'll